This is Marshall Jones at Winthrop University, and this is an overview of Audacity 3.3. Audacity is a free audio editing software that will allow you to both record, mix, and export and share finished audio files. You will, it is a complex piece of software, and I'm just going to provide an overview of how to get started with it here. You'll recognize some common tools in the interface, such as the pause button, the play button, stop, rewind, fast forward, and record. You will want to make sure that your microphone is connected. Audacity does a nice job of recognizing microphones that are connected to your computer when you start it up. But if, like me, you sometimes have multiple microphones connected, you may need to go to audio setup, recording device, and choose the correct one. Another tool that you'll want to pay attention to is the record meter. And this is going to show up green when we start recording. I will point that out once we start. This is your playback meter. Um, you will notice here a timeline. Now currently this is in seconds. As we record, if we hit 60 seconds, it will change to minutes and seconds. And down here in the bottom left hand corner, you will see that our time will show up in hours, minutes, and seconds, should we record an hour, which I really do not recommend. But let's make a recording. I'll press the record button, and I'll start talking. And what you're going to see is here on the timeline, my voice is being recorded, and it's being displayed as these blue blotches. If you look up here at the record meter, you can see that I, my voice is driving this record meter very high into the green into a little bit of yellow. And that's really where you want to be when you're recording. If you see the record meter uh, very low green, or if you see the lines not very, the blue lines not moving far off the center line, you can tell that your voice is probably too low. If you s drive the microphone into the red, that's bad, as you probably just experienced. But what we want is we want a nice, full voice recording, and we can monitor that using those blue blotches. I've pressed the pause button, and if I press the pause button again, you can see that we're right here at about 58 seconds. If I press the pause button and continue recording, then you can see that I'm picking up pretty much where I left off in the same audio clip. Now, if I press the stop button, and I press record again, I get a second piece of audio inside of this same, what's called an audio track. I'm going to press stop. At the bottom of the screen, we have a scroll function that lets us move through our audio file. Now, you'll notice here that I've got this big piece of uh, dead air. I'm just going to highlight that, press the delete key, and it goes away. Audacity can be edited kind of like your word processor. If you just find something that you don't like, you can or want to delete, highlight it, press delete key, it goes away. Do notice that whenever you delete it, it makes your audio file shorter. So if I delete these last two or three seconds, that audio clip uh, or piece of audio is now shorter, which leaves me with a big gap between these two pieces of audio. In Audacity, you simply click on the piece of audio and drag it back till you get a seamless piece of audio. And that is a basic overview of what Audacity is and how it works. In other videos, you can see how to export it, how to share it, how to, uh, how to use effects, and how to add music. I'm Marshall Jones at Winthrop University.